No, nah, we'll. Yeah, might as well. Like we'll. Uh, oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Turn, yeah. Turn it off and back on again. Pretty Step much. number one. So we got the high quality QA team over here. Um. All right. I guess we'll just get going. So. All right. I'll just count it down and then explain things. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. So yeah, match start. No one cares about the story in this game. It's not. It's not that exciting. Hudson's Felix the Cat. Yeah. This is an excellent, uh, just excellent Hudson platformer on the NES, based off of the iconic cartoon feline mascot. And he brought with him his bag of magic tricks. That's uh, the core kind of mechanic in this game. Is uh, you just get sort of power up and get different attacks. When you're able to power up is kind of dependent on how many of these uh, little Felix heads you pick up. Um, and you want to get a, you want to sort of get them in a specific order so that you don't have. Uh, so I guess okay, when you power up, you have a I guess a heart meter that counts down at the end of every stage. So you want to optimize not being able to have to sit there and wait for hearts to count down. So that means going through a lot of these stages is pretty low power. Um, did I get it right? Uh, oh yeah, like <laughs> yeah, you you nailed it. But pretty much the only thing that's like slightly newer with the way I've been running it is. I power up and then take a damage at the end of each boss fight, so it counts down nothing at the end. So it's really all about okay. Um, you strike a balance because every on every boss fight, progressively higher power uh, weapons will do more damage. So you want to have the better weapons to take down the bosses oh my faster. God. Oh, okay. no, that's fine. Oh, see, right now I'm I'm screwing up a lot because I was trying to end this level with 18 in Felix heads, but that's not happening. So we're just gonna not worry about it. It's an awkward checkpoint respawn. Area. Yeah, I'd I'd collected one too many Felix heads, so oh well. So as far as the, what the what the Felix heads are really doing is, if you look at the counter of the Felix heads at the bottom of the screen, he's got 24 right now, 25. Whenever the ones digit is a five, picking up that Felix head will will. Uh, <laughs> At least three uh, milk car uh, milk uh, bottles, which will restore your heart count whenever you have a power. Of course, he has no power, so it doesn't matter. There it uh, is. But on the zero, when the one digit is a zero, it'll drop a heart, which is what powers you up. Uh, particularly this first power that you get, the uh, the magic wand, is really nice. I mean, it's not as strong as like the tank, but it's like a it's like an AOE, a PB AOE, I guess, uh, damaging all around you. You can very easily hit anything. I don't know if that was enough to still do the same number of hits. No, I, I, I messed up. <laughs> but at least you don't have the heart countdown at the end still, so... Yeah. It's been a pretty awful run so far, but... <laughs> it's whatever. The important thing is that I end with a, a 9 at the end of this level, so that way I can upgrade to a the next vessel as fast as possible, and then we just route through this level to collect as fast as possible while also holding right the whole time. Yeah, so uh, the subtlety with the powers, okay, there's a couple of different types of stages. There's a normal platforming stages, there's a flight stages, and a couple more we'll encounter later on, but each of these varieties of stages has different power-ups you can get. And these flight stages, particularly the third power level, is this plane where you move faster. So you want to get to the plane as soon as possible on these flight stages. And you can normally do that by having a nine on your Felix Heads counter in the ones digit, entering the stage, so the very first thing you pick up powers you up and you can get to that plane real quick. Yeah. And uh, of course your power in the style of stage carries over to the next time you encounter that style of stage. So next time he gets to the uh, another flying stage, he'll have the plane right away. Right? Yup. Okay. You got it. <laughs> You're nailing it, man. <laughs> Back to standard platforming. Yep, so now it's just running through in a one-hit KO sort of scenario. There's a mildly tricky jump coming up for me, but we'll see. Oh my <laughs> god! That was the one. Somehow didn't die. It's with the with the uh, unpowered attack, I always like to think it's like Ninja Gaiden. You're doing these uh, attacks on every jump and every land, and it's relatively generous with the hitbox. You can take out enemies where it looks like the land on them. Yeah. And this is the... so every three stages... Um, there's three stages in most of the acts, and you'll fight a boss at the end, so he's going to start powering up here. Uh, taking these little magic bag shortcuts in a few stages. Some stages it's not actually a shortcut, but um, 
could be the side effect of being in the power of the Are you going all the way up to the car power, I guess, for this boss? Nah. No, it doesn't, it doesn't benefit between okay. the car and this, uh, whoops. Same oh. number of hits still. Yeah. yeah. When this guy shoots his bullet, it's kind of awkward, but I guess you're just standing in his hip pockets. Okay, yeah. that's nice. So, that's the same number of hits as if you just stayed with one. Exactly. So yeah, the idea is just six with the magic hat, or whatever, AoE, and then one punch, and that, that takes him out. It would be the same amount if you'd kept the magic hat as well. So just taking that hit at the end just saves you the one to two seconds at the end of each level countdown. It's a pretty tricky platforming stage. Uh, landing on some of these like oscillating like birds kind of have awkward hitboxes. A lot of like blind jumps. It's just a lot of what the heck? <laughs> Memory of the maps. What is it? Okay. <laughs> I'll just blame a weird TV. <laughs> yeah, right. It's all good. I'm just playing terribly. Just that burst so, yeah. of remembering what you're supposed to do and yeah. forgetting about it and criticizing World yourself. Exactly. Yeah, World 3 is definitely the first of uh, tricky platforming. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, that's the oh. dangerous part. Oh! That's. <laughs> Maybe Where you, do I start? You want to optimize, uh, like, move, like, jumping on okay. these moving platforms while they're moving forward to just, like, push you ahead just, like, a little bit. Minor time savers in a game where it's mostly hold right does make it easier. And, and I keep... I've been having to do some, like, compensating on jumps to try to avoid Felix heads because I want a very specific amount at a very specific time. And it's been kind of messing me up. That was... All that, that last part was intentional. So, I just... Okay, okay. Because when I go into the back shortcut, I instantly collect power up, like no matter what. This is our next air stage, so from 2 1, we carried over the max power uh, plane into this stage. So you can go at max speed. Uh, shoot. I'm. Oh my god. <sighs> so we don't have enough uh, energy no, to keep the plane throughout the entire stage, so you need to refill a little bit throughout because whenever you're powered up in the top left you see these hearts they'll slowly count down it's and once it reaches zero you power down so you only have a limited time to actually keep what's effectively hp <laughs> yeah um so you want to you know keep an eye on your felix head counter um once it hits that five you get to collect a couple of milk jugs those are store two hearts each um, or if you're max power you can just collect a heart and it fully fills, fills it back up but he's not going to want to do that near the end of the stage because he's going to have you know, 10 hearts that have to count down. So this should be... Yeah. Well, no, this is... Good. What? Oh my... Oh, okay. oh. Alright. Well, anyways, I had... I had recently rerouted it so where you don't have to worry about any of that, but I messed up literally everything in that stage, so... <laughs> that's fine. And there is one more flying stage left, so yeah, we, we did want to, to keep the, the plane. Yeah. I just kind of lost focus, because... I'm like, yeah. commentating on top of you. Like, no, 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 no. You're you're doing fine. Okay. <sighs> I can't help it, dude. <laughs> so I personally love uh, four one. Um, it's pretty easy, just platformer. It kind of lines up a lot of things in the speedrun quite nicely. And uh, four two is also a nice favorite of mine. Pretty fun speed save. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty contentious in yeah. there, but no, no, no. It's <laughs> four two is good. Not the ice one. Ice I'm just, I'm just sad of because all the new strats that I've been practicing, I literally have executed none of them. Okay, I got you. So, I'm disappointed in myself. Yeah, this was recently featured in the Big Twenty number nine, I believe. Yeah. But it was a, it wasn't full game. I think it was all the way up through this. Yeah, stage. just the defeat this boss defeat, okay, in actually. World Four Hundred Four. So here's our third variety of uh, sort of platforming style. Um, this is the water surface type. I guess, I don't know what else to call it, but yeah, you're unarmed, you're in this raft, um, there's only one power-up, right? You, there's like yeah. the dolphin form, and yep. that's it, but it's not a speed boost or anything, so it's, it's not really important. Yeah, you're not um, going to see it. But it's a little awkward, because you can only jump when Felix is like oscillating downward into into the waves, so you, and you're always bouncing up and down, so you only have, you have like these frame rules with which you can actually press jump, um, so you need to... You need to practice and kind of time time out these every single jump in these stages. 
Yeah, and this whole stage is just trying to collect the correct amount of Felix heads to set up for the next stage. So, I'm hoping I do that, which I have the right Felix heads, but I sacrificed movement to get the right amount. Oh my god. Okay. Nice. So, nice. <sighs> So he's got a nine on the counter, so we can power up right away. We're coming into the, I guess, the fourth yeah. style of platforming, which is the underwater stage. Yep. Um, yep. And you do significantly more damage against the boss as a full power uh, underwater. Felix. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the only uh, underwater stage. There's uh, two of them. There's two, okay. The, in the ice level. Yeah. What? Oh, uh, crap. So now those <laughs> bubbles are some RNG, I think, with those bubbles that they shoot. Dude, bubble crap. It's a good crab. song. It really so, is. Yeah. Sorry, it's I don't know. Great team. <laughs> oh, well. The song here is kind of stressful. Oh my god. What? Blob! Wow. It's okay, manipulating your hearts to go lower. Yep. Positive thinker, I like it. <laughs> oh, it's alright. Just... Yeah, the just his name is just the professor. The professor. Yeah, the professor. So. Oh, the only boss name I just remember Poindexter is the first boss. So this world's not that difficult, but I tend to die in it a lot for whatever reason. It's a nice warp here. Dinosaur land. So this level is very crucial to end with a four on the counter at the end, so hopefully that works out for me. That should be good. Ugh. Alright. And then the next level is the, the last fly- oh, I don't have the airplane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Four count. Yeah, that's... <laughs> so this level was great, but now I have to freaking get the... Yeah, that's kind of a double-edged sword here. Like, oh, okay. Eh, it's all good, though. But if you have the plane, you can avoid almost everything in this stage. Just fly along the bottom. Um, but having to ascend to collect some of these Felix heads is a little dangerous. These cannons are just placed in some awkward locations. Um, and even if you have the plane, you do have to come up and refill it a little bit, because again, you don't have the enough energy to make it through the entire stage. Yeah, it's one of three stages that are like that, but um, when you have a five, you'll get a milk bottle, and so I had routed it, so if you end on a four, then you, there's only one milk bottle you have to pick up, and there's, right in the middle of the stage, there's a Felix head that's directly underneath the platform, and whenever you, um, whenever, like, it collects the milk bottles, it just launches, like, all three of them directly into you since it can't go up. Because whenever you hit a milk bottle, all three of them go straight up and spread out, and it's almost impossible to collect all three. But if there's something in the way, it'll manipulate the milk bottles so that way they, you know, are forced to go closer to me. That so idea. You can see ending the stage here with minimal heart count to, to kind of save time. It's a good illustration of that. Yeah. <clears throat> I missed that. Oh. There's a pen that I can here too. Yeah. <laughs> 94, oh my god. Like the air you can get off of some of those springs. It's pretty nice. <sighs> Please. I don't want power ups. Okay, so this is this Felix clone or something? Yeah, I'm not. I don't really know the lore of it. <laughs> Just a. It's a me with a cowboy hat. It's probably in like one episode of. <laughs> yeah, not a whole lot to any of the bosses in this game. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, especially if you have the magic wand, you can use. It's really easy to hit bosses. They have tons of iframes where they can't damage you. Yeah, there's. A few instances where I want to like hit either side of it, just depending on I know it's going to attack, so 
I'll want to hit the left or the right side of it, but it's minimum of difference, really. Alright, so this is our second water surface stage, or the last one. Um, this is a particularly treacherous stage. What's What's nasty about this is there's ice physics, but not only on the ice, but everywhere. If you jump in the air, you have like this awkward momentum, just like if you were on the ground and slipping around. So it makes... okay, it's not bad as long as you never let go right and you don't mess up. But yeah. the moment you have to start controlling your jumps, it feels really weird. Yeah, and the other thing that sucks about it is the water is constantly pushing you backwards. And so these fish actually shoot in this stage as well. Yeah. So if you're not constantly jumping, oh, you're, you're getting pushes. yeah you're getting pushed backwards as well. So you can't just like hold right in the water like you can in the first one, <laughs> in the first water stage like this. This is, this is like a, it's a lullaby. It's really nice. I love the music in this game. The boss theme is is excellent. I mean, high quality Hudson Platt. Alright, we good. Alright, that was decent for that level. That level really, really sucks to it's learn. It's a real scary stage. And our last uh, underwater level as well. Carrying over the max power from previous. And hopefully I execute this correctly, but... This is the only level that I do that's different than the tasks, but it is actually faster, because in the tasks they take the hits at the end of the stage, but do this level exactly right, you'll actually um, end the level while transitioning from each uh, like a power-up. So you are delivering one less hit on the boss, and it has zero um, count like hearts to count down at the end. Okay. So, okay. oh my god, I might have screwed it up right there. Uh, yeah, I messed, I messed it all up. It's all good. Life goes on. As long as, okay, as long as you got the right yeah. amount of hits. But it yeah. just means you're gonna, the hearts are going to count down, and there's not another water stage. Yeah. I'll just waste. You'll see the difference, because right now it's at one heart, and then it has to count down the full set from when I'll, I'll be a turtle. I don't know. Uh, yeah. And that's the... Those are the real-time killers nowadays. And by that I mean, I don't know. I know I've know i been running this game for like a while, but... I don't run it like all the time, I just come back to it maybe like once a year, try to get a new PvP, find new strats. And so now it's at the point where I like saving minimum seconds is what I need to concern myself with. So hey. <laughs> Ten years is a while, yeah. So I'm guessing it's worth getting the magic wand here because there's all these uh, snowballs. A few of them are in some real awkward positions. Yeah, it's it's definitely worth it in this stage. Um, but it's it's not too bad, and the snowballs you can land on top of, which is nice. Oh, right, okay. So yeah, they don't. Back a bit. Yeah, so like the top of the snowballs isn't a hitbox, but every other part of it is. But at this point, like collecting a power up in the next stage, it's, there's not really a good spot for it, and this level's so long that you end with minimum hearts. So at the moment, I just am fine with ending this stage with maybe one heart to not have to deal with powering up in the next stage, sort of thing. I don't know, you know. It's like I'll, I'll either lose half a second here or half a second there, so just take your pick. Yeah, these are real cool uh, platformer stages, all, all three of these, I guess. Yeah, I like this world a lot. Or is this two stages in this? Yeah, it's just two. Okay, okay. First, uh, first act, and it's like that. Yep. And more ice physics, but since you're only holding right the whole time, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, just a couple of funny bat spawns you gotta watch out for. Like this one, it's just memory. The camera's not quite scrolling up with you uh, when you want it to. I think there's a big, it just like spells out Felix up here somewhere. Yeah. There's Poindexter around too, now he's throwing these snowballs. Riding his like mechanical like, ostrich or whatever. We can collect all of them. Oh, the, I didn't. I didn't mean to collect all those, but I was more focused on hitting the boss correctly. So whatever. I mean, PB's been out the window for a long time, so <laughs> it's okay. And moving into 
to, is this the space stage coming up? Yep, the auto scroller, the worst auto scroller. This is, yeah, this definitely like tarnishes the run. <laughs> like, uh, it's been pretty bearable. Like some of the like the air stages are not that great, but this stage is just awful. Um, yeah. There's no power ups. Um, but you do have a heart counter, so if you don't uh, grab a heart or uh, or milk bottles, you just die. Yup. And, and the way, how slow it scrolls, you know, it really, it's really conservative on the placement of these Felix heads. So you only really have a couple of opportunities to power up. Um, there's a couple of hidden, like you can like shoot these uh, the professor heads in the background, and don't you get something? Yeah, you get you get an F ball. I don't know. And I don't, I guess it stands for full, I don't know, oh, okay. but you'll get a full power up, which is nice. And there are Felix heads and stuff lower, but you, scrolling the screen down is really a bad idea in this, because you can't actually scroll the screen up until your character sprite is like almost at the very top, so it's pretty dangerous, so like there can be something above you and you don't know it until you start scrolling the screen up. So playing at the lower half of the stage is really dangerous because you can't see what's above you. Your vertical control is really awkward in this. You can only like tap the jump button and you can kind of see its movement. And uh, yeah, pretty soon some of these uh, like UFOs will fly at you in like kind of an awkward trajectories, and you want, with one hit and you're dead. So yeah, it's a uh, pretty nasty stage. <laughs> Those guys are so happy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, after we collect like just a warm milk bottle, we'll be fine. We can just hover above the level. So yeah, we're, we're good now. Now we just occasionally tap A and we're good. We'll end the level at 69 seconds and life's good. <laughs> and then we're off to the final world. Stuff starts to get uh, pretty real in the final world. Yeah. And it's just platforming, regular platforming stages after this one. Yes, indeed. Final stage, particularly, is really cool, but it's super stressful. Yeah, the final stage has the best platforming. Say so yeah, World Three, and then the very final stage are the only ones that have, like, I'd say, like, really cool platforming. Yeah, final stage is definitely like the most unique, like, design. You know, it's this interior. I guess it kind of reminds me of some of the Act Two levels, but yeah, pretty similar. <coughs> this stage is pretty much just all about dodging these, like, bouncing, like, meteors or. I don't, I don't I know don't, what they are. I don't know, man. Meatballs? I don't know. Meatballs? Atoms, maybe. Yeah, especially when they appear at the top of these ramps, you kind of got these awkward, like, turnbacks. Yeah, some, you don't always have to do the turnback, but sometimes when you land on a slope, it still thinks you're like clipping the edge and falling off a ledge, so it'll just eat your input. Okay, you lose like momentum or something? Yeah, so I just kind of do the wiggle there for the sake of safety. Um, ideally, I want to end this level with 97 Felix heads, but we shall see. And the final boss has way more HP than the other bosses, <clears throat> so it makes yeah. it even more kind of critical to power up to defeat him. If you go all the way to tank, you can defeat the final boss in significantly fewer hits than any of the other power up forms. So, I'm pretty sure you'll go for tank. Yeah, that's the idea. So, we'll see. If I do the level right, <sighs> you got this. Man. This is the 20th stage, I think. I counted it one time. Oh, nice. No, it's, it's classic, classic square wave. But yeah, it does suck. I did it. I did all the really hard stuff correct, and then the easy jump I messed up. And all those corner jumps off of those first few platforms. Nice. Oh well, because yeah, the way it was routed, I level up to the tank right there as I go into this bag, and then I be. You know, going at the boss. And it is worth going in here because it really does make make it significantly fewer hits. It got like for, with the punching, with the boxing glove, and something like 24 hits. Yeah, it's like per power up. I think like the least amount you can do is 13, and then I think it's 16, then like 21, then 29. Okay. It's wow. pretty crazy. So we got one. 
This is the hardest two, boss in the game, but three, it doesn't really say a whole lot. Four. Oh my god. Five. <laughs> six. Kind of get into this like pattern where you just go back and forth. <laughs> Oh. All right, and get ready. oh time. my god, time, time. <laughs> That's a really great run, man. <laughs> man, sweet. Really, twenty four thirty five. That's awful. Like considering, oh my god, that's crazy. Alrighty. It's still, it's still like twenty six thirty from way back when. So yeah, pretty good. Man. Awesome. Like the new shit, right? Yeah, yeah. My, I just got a PB two weeks ago, twenty three eleven, and I can, I don't know. And my sum of best is like just barely now sub twenty three. So I'll be getting that sub twenty three one day, and then I'll probably be done with this game. But who knows? But yeah. So that's Felix. It was uh, it was all right. It went well, but it could have been way better. But you know, that's how it is. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commentating. Yeah, no problem. It's great. great